The Galileo satellite's navigation program is ready to make yet another leap forward. After the completion of the in-orbit validation of the Galileo system at the end of 2013, ESA and the European Union are now ready for the deployment phase. It starts with the launch of two more satellites this summer from French Guiana. More will follow until the completion of the Galileo constellation, which will eventually consist of 30 satellites. To accomplish this, ESA will accelerate production of the remaining satellites with the aim of launching them at a rate of one launch every three to four months. To do it, we have initiated two sets of uh, new uh, elements. One, we have three sites where satellites are under preparation. One in Bremen, where satellites are built. One in Estec, in Netherlands, where satellites are tested before they are shipped to Kourou. And one in Kourou, where they uh, suffer the last preparation before the launch. These satellites are needed to make the system reliable and robust in order to deliver the services. Early services are expected in 2015. However, satellite navigation programs in Europe are not limited to Galileo. There is also the EGNOS program, operational since 2011, that contributes to air traffic management. This service, now used by aircraft, improves GPS data and informs the user on the reliability of the data. EGNOS is uh, extremely good in terms of performances. The decision now with some civil aviation in Europe is to use EGNOS as a, a primary system, meaning that they could dismantle other systems and to rely more on EGNOS, which is of course the demonstration that EGNOS is working well. Soon EGNOS will not only augment GPS, but also Galileo. While this first generation of Galileo satellites are being deployed, ESA is preparing the second generation to be deployed around 2022, when the first generation will be retired. It's quite difficult to build a satellite, it takes years, and we have now to define what will be the shape, the size of those satellites to be launched in uh, eight, nine years from now. And we have now to prepare this future, both for satellites and for ground segment. We don't know yet what will be the Galileo second generation, but we know already what are the elements we have to improve or we intend to improve. Uh, mainly, of course, performances, because the other systems are improving every day and we have to be uh, comparable to the best uh, in the world, that's evident. With the Galileo program, Europe is building the first civilian navigation system in the world, a system that will need to evolve to ensure improved services to respond to the changing requirements of the users.